Only on Fox 11, an up-close look at the destruction in Rancho Palos Verdes caused by unprecedented land movement. Recent reports suggest the ground is moving about a foot per week. Fox 11's Matthew Seedorf is live tonight after navigating through some of the most treacherous areas of that neighborhood. Matthew? Christine, really unbelievable to see just how much this land has moved. Now, this road used to be up where our camera is now. I estimate probably 12 feet higher than where we are currently, and it's only getting worse out here. Fox 11 walking exclusively with experts viewing record-breaking land movement in Rancho Palos Verdes. As you can see, their elevation was about six feet higher. This neighborhood off Portuguese Bend, ground zero. The gas line breaks about three times a week. Gas, a frequent smell, homes and roads here cracking and sinking more every day. You have to think to yourself, this isn't real. And that's how I feel here. I, I feel like I'm on a movie set, but in reality, this is 25 people's homes. Drone video from the Alpha Structural Team shows a giant separation of land cutting through the neighborhood. This whole part, it just pulled away from over here and opened up a, a chasm. They have abandoned the underground water mains. Water main pipes now above ground to prolong breaks. There's the garden hose that goes up to their house to give them water. A garden hose used to get water into a home. It would be challenging to walk upright. Absolutely. One homeowner climbing a rope to reach their house, but Friday the driveway now possibly too steep even for that. And in the last week, I think it's gotten so bad, they're actually packing up, it looks like, and moving along with the house across the street. This area continues to drop roughly 12 feet in the last year or so. Just look at this home. It used to be street level, and now it's way down here. Is there anything that's making it worse right now? Um, it's possible that the unusual wet weather we've had in the last couple years has contributed to it, but it's also possible that it's just uh, kind of a cycle over time. Freshly paved Palos Verdes Drive keeps cracking. Nearby historic Wayfarers Chapel forced to close. I think with the gas, we should probably get out yeah. at this point. A fast-moving and destructive force also creating a spectacular new site in Rancho Palos Verdes, a new section of coastline. But as KCAL News reporter Lori Perez reports tonight, it brings with it some new dangers. It is so stunning. You almost do a double take when you look at it. The land is moving so quickly and so consistently. It has formed a new shoreline that experts were not expecting. Somebody said, you know, oh, there's a new beach. It's not really a beach yet. A beach typically has sand on it. This is just literally landslide debris, a lot of rocks being pushed up out of the out of the surf. Using new technology, SkyCal gives us a view of what geologists say is a changing coastline off Rancho Palos Verdes. This is a Google Maps shot taken before this year's massive landslides. This is today, showing a few hundred feet of new rocky shore that's formed as the land continues to move, piling up and under water's edge. What's happening is the ground is rising up and coming up through through the uh, right through the ocean and, and lifting it up out of the ocean. City geologist Mike Phipps says that tells them the landslide is deeper than they thought and moving at much deeper levels than previously modeled, maybe at about 300 feet deep near the coast at Palos Verdes Drive South. It's significant because they need to know what they're dealing with as the city plans where and how to drill to get water out of the landslide mass and stop its devastating impact. But it's not easy. In some areas, the land is still moving, he says, about 12 inches a week. That's the sad part is that the landslide is moving um, in a much bigger area and, and way faster than it ever has. There are many, many properties on that landslide that are moving and probably being damaged. That that's, makes me sad uh, given what I do for a living as a geologist. And, uh, you know, we're trying to find ways to, to uh, slow down the landslide so that people don't lose their properties, among other things. Locals hope they can figure it out soon. Even those who don't live in the danger zones are worried.